What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode th two of our Pokemon <laughs> Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue co op playthrough with Neighbor himself. Say hello. Hey, uh, not gonna <laughs> name names, but uh, in the last episode, somebody forgot to record the episode and somebody died. Two different people, subjectively. We'll never know, though. We'll never know which one was which. We're here in episode number two. I may have skipped ahead on the text. That's not a hint. <laughs> on who forgot to record. In the last episode, which was episode number one, which went up on Tuesday, we did the quiz to pick our starter and went through and saved a ma Was that? We saved a Caterpie. We saved a Caterpie. <laughs> We went through and saved a Caterpie. If you do want to check that out, make sure you click the i card up at the very top right of the screen. In today's episode, spoilers, we're going to save a Caterpie. So if you're excited for That's this episode. Not a Caterpie in this episode? What did I say? Is it Caterpie? <laughs> Mag we're doing we're going Magnemite. to save something. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe and become a member of the Domination. And make sure you check out Neighbors, whose link, Neighbor, whose link is in the description below. We all know I did that personality quiz like 20 extra times. Yes, yes. The personality quiz was not as easy to get the one that he got. Which just goes to show how my, me getting Charmander is fake. that much more special. Question of the day is for question of the day for today's episode is going to be which Pokemon do you like a, a, which unevolved Pokemon do you like better than its evolved self? We'll talk about it as the episode gets going. I'm gonna go ahead and read the text so I can get caught up to I'm, where Mr. My, Speed Demon it's my is. Text. I'm still the same. In this episode, we woke up and we're the same. The way I look, I'm still a Charmadile. Totemander. Totemander. Why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm. I don't understand this at all. Hmm. I feel groggy and sleepy. Not feeling well. I need more sleep. Is this where you're at? This is where I'm at. Okay. So you go back. Save. Take a, take a breather. Go back. This is when you wake up. Before your alarm. Decide to go back to sleep. And then you come out. Feeling, oof, I'm feeling refreshed. I still look like a Pokemon, but, oh, that's right. That Pokemon, I think it was T-Jolive. 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 We made a promise to form a rescue team together. The domination. I wonder what Olive is doing. T-Jolive. I should go out. Whew. All right. All right. As we pointed out in the first episode, Mine is clearly the better of the two. I don't know if y'all saw before I raced out, but uh, I'm living in Generation 7 with my moon in the side. <laughs> Did they know about Gen 7 when this game came out? They knew about Gen 5. That was from Muna. <laughs> Isn't it Muna? I'm, I've always called it Muna, just because it's... I, so, I don't you know, know, there's probably no reason for me to call it Muna. It's probably Muna. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I was so excited I came out here at dawn to wait for you. I must have snoozed off. Now, if I remember correctly, they said I have a place for you to sleep. I thought that was implying that was their house. Well, I would agree with that, except that I'm in a fire hut, and this is a Trico. Yeah. You're in a water hut, and that's a Torchic. How did they just have a random hut where they're thinking... Where they're thinking... <laughs> where they're thinking... Yes. And then... Yeah, how do they just have a, a random hut where they're thinking, I'm going to let you anyway, sleep Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But anyway, we don't have any job offers yet. Oh, God. The early grind. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. I love how Trico crawls around. Trico's movement is beautiful. Yes, yes. We got a rescue team starter kit. Which includes, I knew it'd be there, it's the what? Rescue Team Starter Kit. Torchic looks so much more enthused. I'm in Look. awe. Look at Trico. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. Torchic was brought to tears. A rescue team badge, a toolbox, Pokemon news. Yes, look at how excited I look. Yes, 
There's some good things here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is a toolbox. Use it for carrying items and finding dungeons. Let's put the stuff out of your game for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon news. It's useful for rescue teams. I'll put the Pokemon news in the mailbox. You should read up on it later. Whoa! That was flames. That was fun. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not? Oh. Um. <clears throat> okay, so there is an email for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would get, be getting mail, but nobody knows about us since we're a new team. So, since we're so new a team, I guess. I skipped ahead a bit because I wanted to see the best Pokemon in this game. No. <laughs> there is a Charmander and a Trico on my screen. Infinitely inferior. Oh my Both, god. Look, both of them will get smapped, smacked up. Pelipper is about to hurricane the Trico and... Hydro pump the Charmander. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Get out of here. Go. Shoo. 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 All right. What's up here? Can I go this way? Oh There's God, a I warning can't. tag on the side of the mailbox. Open mailbox in the front. Warning. If you, if you try to open it from the <laughs> side, things go wrong. All right. Maybe it's a rescue job after. Offer. What does it say? After? Did they say it last yes. time? Yes. <laughs> they read the letter. All right, here buzz, you go. Buzz, buzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and it stuck together Magnemite and Magnemite. That isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Buzz, buzz, buzz. From Magnemite's friend. What do you think? Do you think we should go? Let, let's go. Yes. That's the spirit. Let's do our best. I think maybe they're using an old keyboard. <laughs> right. Stuck. Oh god, I spun through that. Oh, you're here. Bzz, bzz. My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friends should be on basement six floor. <laughs> Please help them. Bzz, bzz. If you're watching and you know, is it basement sixth floor or is it below sixth floor? I'm just gonna humor you and say it's basement sixth floor. I think maybe below the sixth. Well, now that I think about it, that doesn't make any sense. It's basement. It doesn't say six FB, six yeah. Facebook. <laughs> six. All right. Ooh. Now nobody died here last time yeah, because they were clicking record. buttons too fast. That means nobody picked up this gravel rock last time. I love the gravel rock. Oh look, a rat attack! Oh, it died! That's what happened last time. Let me show you guys gravel rock. Boom, you just toss it and then the, the rat dies. It sounds like a Let's Play Minecraft episode. Let's go. That's how you and get now, better. And now we have an apple! You guys know what an apple does? <laughs> you eat it. Apples are actually extra important though. Yeah, okay, no, you're, like, you're a hunger meter. Know, I know they are, but this isn't Minecraft. <laughs> you ever see those Let's Play Minecraft? Me neither. I've just seen people make fun of it. <laughs> Same. Oh no. All right, there's a room over here and I see a rat attack. You know, I'm a little afraid I'm probably gonna go through this a little fast since, I've, since we've already done it. <laughs> That is a possibility. But we know that we were at a certain level by the time we got out of here, so maybe we'll, we'll aim for that. Oh! Ah! I just got smacked. Did you get smacked? No, I'm doing great. Are you on the second floor yet? No, I'll be there in a second. So here the game is trying to teach us about the different like tactics that you can do with your teammate, you can set it so that they always use attacking moves. So like always scratch and of just the regular attack. That's pretty useful for bosses. See, and I never got that last time. Not useful like anywhere else. Because Choose a partner with the team command. Oh! I guess that's exactly what you were just talking about. Yeah. I guess because I... Probably mashed through it, because honestly... Well, I didn't get to fully explore the first time I was in the dungeon last time. That is true. Um, I might for have for had reasons to... unexplained. I mean, there's no video proof of anything. Not on one side, anyway. Oh, it's... 
If there was any on another side, it got deleted. Let's go moves. And now we found a gravel rock. Do you guys know what a gravel rock does? Wait, I already showed him. I destroyed that Rattata with this gravel rock. Oh, see, I save my, I save my gravel rocks for when I get later in game. And there's like a Volcarona approaching me. Volcarona? That's like, a couple gens too late. Like, you, you four times weak to this. Take this. You think it works that way? I doubt there's four times weakness in this game. I mean, do you think that there's like... Do you think Gravel Rock is super effective against... I don't think it is. I think it's always a flat 20. Which is why I used it earlier on, because it's one-hitting things from a max distance. Whereas later on, it's like, eh, it's 20 damage. True, true, true. Oh! We didn't talk about our question of the day. So, the question of the day, we did mention it. Uh, would you guys leave your answer in the comment below, per usual, with question of the days. Um... What Pokemon do you like their pre-evolved form better than their evolved form? For me, Abra is my favorite Pokemon of all time, point blank period. So that's the easiest question ever for me, it's Abra. But if I had to pick one that's not my favorite of all time because that's cheating, probably Crabrawler. Because Crabominable is the biggest disappointment that I've ever experienced in a, in a playthrough. I played through uh, Sun and Moon blind. I managed to avoid all spoilers for that game, if you could believe it. And uh, caught a Core Brawler pretty early. I thought this is the most amazing Pokemon ever. I am going to make it to my team member. I'm going to evolve it. When it finally evolved, I was very upset that I didn't match the B button. <laughs> so for me... The Pokemon that immediately comes to mind when I think about, like, Pokemon that I like that aren't, uh, or pre-evolved Pokemon that I like are Apom. This Apom's my boy. Are you gonna die? I'm out of trouble. Don't worry about me. <laughs> um, your eyes on your screen. Apom is my boy. Uh, I don't like Ambipom. And as I pointed out before, Ash's Apom, way better than Dawn's Ambipom. Dawn's Ambipom sucks. So, that that's my first one. And then the second one is another Pokemon that Dawn wound up owning, kind of, is Togetic. Uh, I like Togetic way better than Togekiss. Uh, because Togekiss just kind of gets a little plump. You know what I mean? Definitely does get a little bit large and in charge. I don't I don't understand the design at all. Like some of them I get, some of them it's just like Why'd you have to ruin a perfectly good Pokemon? I don't know, that's just me. So let me know. I know there are some people around that like Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. You alright? Can I move? You might be paralyzed, in which case, no. Can I eat? Probably. Yeah, I think you can still use, like, an orange berry. I wanna try and move. Oh yeah, you just can't attack, probably. Ah! Oh, Barely got through that. Okay! This is, this is where knowing how to wait and heal is helpful, so if you hold B and- Ah! When there's not an enemy right in front of you, if you hold B and A, you can just what? let the time go and you can heal. Did you think I was scared? I was scared. I walked straight up to that guy. I said, who are you? You look like you needed help. I made it through. What floor are you on? I'm about to be on floor five. Same. I mean, I'm standing right next to that staircase. Boom. I mean, same. Yeah. <laughs> what levels are you? I just hit eight. I'm only sevens. Weird how that seems to have flipped from just a few moments ago. Huh. Now, I'm also like the kind of person who really likes pre-evolved Pokemon a little bit more than some. Ne Out of my top 10, the vast majority are probably fully evolved. Right. But I really like pre-evolved Pokemon to the point where my second favorite Pokemon for a long time was actually Ponyta. I just loved Ponyta for some reason. The point where as a kid, Domino's heard this, but, but as a kid, Playing through red and blue, 
I would go through the Pokemon Mansion, get to the point where I'm about to catch a Ponyta, whittle it down to red HP. I'm getting hungry. I, I feel like I'm gonna get hungry too, because I'm about to die, so I need to... Okay, I just screwed a level 8. Both of mine are synced up. They're going at the same time. Mine are not. Uh, I would get to, like, whittle down my Ponyta's HP. When you're fighting in the burn tower. When I'm the fighting. burn mansion. Yeah. I would be too afraid to throw a regular Pokeball or Ultra Ball or Great Ball. Because I think maybe if I don't catch it, this Pokemon's going to run away. Like you're playing Pokemon Go. Like I'm playing Pokemon Go or something. Bef way when I was a four-year-old, before that existed, in a, even as a thought. Before it was a concept. I ran up to the next level. So I'm going to wait for a second. As I tell this story, and I threw my Master Ball at a Ponyta. You actually threw your Master Ball. Yeah, and I started with Char Charmander, too. So when I went through the Elite Four, I had a Charizard and a Rapidash. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. That was uh, about it. There's part of this floor that I haven't explored, but I'm going to go ahead and go on. And this is you. Oh! <coughs> oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. Oh, I was... I thought that was my monologue. <laughs> Our bodies separated. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Rejoice. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Be thankful, you two. You are our hero. Thank you. Bzz, 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 bzz. The domination received the reward. I better focus. Toolbox is full. The Reviver Seed, which is the best item in the game. The Rostberry. Which is cool. <clears throat> is this my monologue now? I think so. I'm glad our rescue mission went well today. Actually, since this is our first job as a proper rescue team, I was really tense and nervous. I'm exhausted now. I've got to go get some sleep. Let's keep up our good work for tomorrow. Thank you. Or see you. What? He said he didn't even say the word thank. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. I would also like to blow my nose. But... As you can tell, TJ is a little sick. <laughs> like how I just made myself TJ. That's yeah. really awkward. Anyway, almost done. Oh goodness, I forgot that we were doing this. I did the button. I'm I'm coming. I'm on the way. Oh. Hmm. 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 Where? Where am I? Maybe. Is this a dream? Oh, there's there's someone here. Who is it? S someone I know. Can you see the person? I can't remember. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what the dream was about. Is how I feel every single morning. Oh, well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if we have any mail. Better check the mailbox. And maybe we'll do that and be able to see the best character in the right game. Right now! <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right, let's check the mailbox. There was no mail. Well, oh, okay. I thought we were done with the <laughs> game. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, good morning, uh, Dama Neighbor. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you checked the mailbox. So was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? Empty? Hmm, I suppose so. We've only started after all. Well, too bad. Want to go to uh, Pokemon Square? I think when we go to Pelipper Post Office... Pelipper! The, 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 I was about to do it. There will be jobs posted. Pokemon Square's over this way. Let's go. Oh. Pelipper Post Office. Oh, and since your, uh, your toolbox is full, you can check out the bank. This is Pokemon Square. Or the item storage or whatever. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Fe Felicity Bank? That's the one. Felicity Bank. You can save your money there. This is the Gulpin Link Shop. Gulpin can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them at the same time. I think you should ask Gulpin if you want to know more. Makes moves like Rowl and Leer super useful. This is the Kangaskhan Storage. If you store more items, they'll never go missing. You should store important items here before you go out on any dungeon adventure. 
So now you can link like Leer and Scratch. That way it'll be like Leer and then Scratch and you're attacking somebody with their defense a little bit down. Pretty cool. What do you think? The businesses here help us. Oh, and there's also the Pelper Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can get some information on rescue jobs. Let's first go to the Pelper Post Office. Let's first Let's first not, not and head down here. Whew. Uh, oh, wait. I don't have room. Wait. Are you doing the same thing? I'm going to store my Reviver Seed. I'm going to store... Look at all this stuff I have. Oh, I guess you have just as much stuff. I don't need this many apples. I think I need one apple. Maybe one okay, orange berry. On. Oh. Okay, I'll do... Oh, she said you can... I don't remember how to do this. Oh, press R to store multiple. L or R works. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to... Oh, shoot. Three orange berries. I'll take out my sleep seed too. I'm keeping that reviver seed tucked away for a harder dungeon. I don't want to accidentally waste it early. You have a reviver seed? Do you not? I got it as a reward for doing that. Uh, oh, I, ha I already there had go. it. There you go. I already had it. Okay, is there anything else that we need to do right now in this town, in this city? I'm putting. I'm gonna link my moves. I'm gonna link Leer and Scratch. You're already gonna link them? Or should I do Rage and Scratch? For 150, scratch. isn't that a lot? Nope. So I'm gonna link what? Scratch? Do you? Which one do you do first? The or one does on it top. Matter? So I don't know if Growl is as Set. worth it because it's like because you're not. I mean, oh, because I'm lowering their, their attack. It would be not the worst thing in the world. Wait, I just wouldn't right? link to attacking moves. Yeah. I wouldn't link to attacking moves because then you're wasting the PP for both. Leer and Pound. Leer and Pound, that's a good combo. Okay. No. Alright, well. There's probably nothing we can buy up here, but I want to point out that the this Kecleon is not a shiny Kecleon. <laughs> It's a very alternate color. Okay, apple, apple, big apple. He does have a reviver seed for 800. I don't have that kind of money. All right, so before we head off to the Pelipper office. I always deposit all my money at the bank. Oh, yes, smart. That way when you die, you, you don't, don't lose, lose anything. Any. Oh, that reminds me. Anyway, uh, no, nobody died. But I do think my nose is telling me now we need to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So let's see if I can get through this without my nose falling apart. <laughs> okay. If you end up enjoying this episode, make sure to hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the Domination. In today's episode, we wound up saving a Magnemite as well as exploring the Pokemon Square for the first time. In the next episode, we're going to head off to the Pelipper Post Office. Ooh, Pelipper! The, the Pelipper Post Office and get our next mission and continue on from there. So we'll see you on Saturday. Anything else? <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.